Hey everybody, Boyce House of BK Forest. Welcome to the Weekly Technos for the Crosses from May 7th to May 11th, 2018. And the story in the Crosses actually shows a couple of very interesting charts on the uh, both major side and some on the uh, commodity side. Let me show you what I have in mind. Three crosses that looked interesting to me this week. Euro yen, simply because risk aversion flows have really been dominant, and we are at this very, very key 130 level. We tested it Friday. If the market gets a lot more negative global growth story, Euro yen breaks that 130, and we're now looking then after very, very much towards the 129 after that. So I really like this to the short side as a momentum trade. But the strongest chart that I saw on the charts is literally the Euro pound to the upside. This is obviously basically a base case on the fact that BOE stays stationary and maybe the market is going to front run cable, knock it down below 35 into the 34s ahead of that, especially if there's any kind of murmuring um, ahead of the BOE that they are uh, reticent about ra raising rates. Anyways, we'll take a look at a chart, but the chart looks to me the most bullish of all the uh, charts I've seen this week. Um, and the final chart is actually the surprise chart. This is, a, this is a chart where I thought, really, we're going to go to the downside with Aussie Kiwi. But we had a flip this week, and you've got to respect the flip. Now the move is very much towards the upside, towards the 108, and I'll show you the chart as well. Let's just actually start with the Aussie Kiwi chart because that's interesting. So here we are. We've been basically hovering this 107, 107, 30 level. Today we broke to the upside. And it looks very much like now, instead of a topping formation, this is just simply a basing formation. And we really have a, a reasonable chance here to squeeze towards the 108s. Perhaps the less than hawkish uh, RBNZ, uh, whatever movements we have, or maybe in front of the RBNZ, we'll get a push towards the 108s. This is a small, slow move, but it does look relatively good on the charts. Um, the chart that I wanted to show you before that is the Euro Yen, which to me is very interesting on a risk reversion flows because this 130 we got tested today, came back up. Um, if the markets begin to sell off into the front of the week, this 130, which was a very, very strong support level, goes. Once that goes, it really opens up the run straight down to 129. So one way to trade this is to just let it let it happen. Basically, don't try to anticipate the 130 cut. If it breaks the 130, trade the break because I think once the break happens, that suggests pretty nasty risk aversion flows accelerating in global equity markets and Euro Yen gets hurt the most. This basically suggests Yen goes to 108, Euro stays low, and we have a very reasonable chance to make 129. But it's really a momentum trade. You want the price to run through the 130 before you commit to this trade. But the last trade, this one I really like a lot because this is a very bullish chart. Look at the higher highs, excuse me, the higher lows that we have on this chart. Look at this close on the highs into um, into the week. All of this very, very bullish. Looks like it's just a uh, coil ready to break out. Certainly open for a run towards the 89s. Don't have any overhead till we have 89s. And it's basically a bet on the fact that cable continues to, uh, to get sold off on very, very negative market expectations. This, to me, looks, looks most interesting on the cross basis. And that's what I would like to do as the week starts out. Wish you guys the best luck, the best of trading. Bush Lossberg, over and out.